Baldwin Locomotive Works built five railway guns using large battleship 14-inch Mark IV naval rifle barrels to be shipped to France for use against German forces in World War I. Finished by Baldwin in April and May 1918, the five guns and their attendant cars and locomotives were delivered by ship to France in August. The guns were assigned to the 1st Army's Railway Artillery Reserve, manned by Navy personnel. By late August, one of the batteries was hurling 1,400-pound shells more than 20 miles at a German-held railway junction. Another battery went into action in September, striking at a railroad target more than 20 miles distant. Other American railway batteries were operational near Verdun, targeting supply, transportation, and communication targets along the Metz-Sedan line. An after-action report said one round from the railway guns was sufficient to destroy three parallel railroad tracks for a length of 100 yards, twisting rails and destroying ties while leaving a deep crater.
Allied spotter planes observed German targets for the American railway guns, and German aircraft helped their side target the American guns. One sailor was killed and several injured on 29 October from the explosion of a German shell near one of the batteries. Batteries 4 and 5 were still firing within minutes of the armistice on the morning of 11 November 1918. With peace, all five American railway guns were shipped back to the United States. One was retained by the Navy for test work until the last American battleship using similar guns was retired after World War II. That railway gun was placed on display at the Washington Navy Yard. I'm Fred Johnson for the Air Rail Images channel. If you enjoyed this program, please subscribe to the Air Rail Images channel. That helps us as we bring more historic and modern content to you.